Hi there, and welcome to the short video introducing the course Nuclear Chemical Engineering. Let me introduce myself. My name is Brad Laidwig, and I'll be the course coordinator for this course, and I'll be giving some of the lectures for this course as well. I joined the college recently. I came here in the summer, and uh, prior to that I worked at Monash University, which is in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, my background is in chemical engineering. I have my bachelor and PhD degrees from the University of Queensland in Australia. Uh, and here at the college, I have a research group working on energy and environmental technologies. And uh, I'll tell you more about my research as we go through the term. Let's talk about this, this course. This course is rather special in that it involves quite a few expert lectures from industry. This is a little bit different to what you would normally have here at the college because normally you would be receiving your lectures from people like me, people that are predominantly researchers. However, this unit is very special because uh, most of the lectures will come from people in industry and that is very, very valuable. It's a great opportunity for you to hear from people that are actively working in the nuclear industry. It is especially useful for those of you that uh, would seek to have careers in the nuclear industry after you graduate from the college. So I would really urge you that uh, when you have the lecturers there from industry to make the most of their expertise and while they are there to ask them questions and especially ask them questions about what it's like to work every day in this industry. It, again, it's a, it's a great opportunity to have these people coming to, to lecture you so really make the most of it. In terms of course information, the most up-to-date material will always be on the Blackboard site. I'll be continuously updating the Blackboard site throughout the term, adding new material, and I always encourage you, if you want to know anything about the course, to make the Blackboard site your first point of call. Uh, always try and find the answer to your question there first uh, before you post on the forums or send me an email. The first lecture for the course will be given by Professor Geoffrey Hewitt. So Professor Geoffrey Hewitt is an emeritus professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering and he is one of the UK's most renowned and most respected experts in the nuclear industry. Uh, you will get to read a bit more about uh, his career, uh, but I can tell you that he is a co-author of one of the textbooks that are uh, recommended for this unit, Introduction to Nuclear Engineering. And he's a fellow of the Royal Society as well as many other societies and academies, a very esteemed uh, professor and we're very fortunate to have him giving the introductory lecture. The uh, following lectures you can look in the course schedule uh, to see who's giving those. Let's talk a little bit about how we communicate in this unit. So the Blackboard site, like probably many of the Blackboard sites that you've used in your studies here at the college, has a discussion forum. And I will check that forum regularly and I'll respond to questions where it's appropriate. However, to make it a really dynamic place and to make uh, us as a, a group of people learning together uh, an active educational community, I really encourage you to participate with those forums. So post your questions there, but also check the forums regularly and if you see someone else asking a question that you know the answer to or you'd like to contribute to or you'd like to join the discussion, then please go right in and post on the forum. Um, this course is also somewhat unique in that it involves students from several different departments around the college. So that is also uh, quite a benefit for each and every one of you because you get to make some new friends but also see uh, some different perspectives on the nuclear industry from the people with a different background to your own. In terms of communicating with me, uh, you can find me in my office from time to time. It's located in the ACEX building, room 412 and my dedicated office hours for this unit, so the hours where I should always be there uh, to answer your questions relating to this unit, is the hour immediately preceding uh, this lecture on Fridays, so from 1 to 2 p.m. on Fridays. My email address is, is given here, and you can find it on the college webpage, but I would really encourage you that if you don't have something urgent and personal, that you post your query to the forum uh, you will get an answer much faster from me or from other members of the class in the forums and uh, there is always the problem that I receive many many emails and there are usually some some days that it takes me to respond to them so I would really encourage you to post to the forum with your questions 
In terms of the forum, you can also subscribe to the forum, and that means that when people post or post replies, uh, you will receive an email alert. So I encourage you to, to sign up and subscribe to the forums as well. In all of my teaching, I aim for my students to have a really fantastic educational experience. I really take a lot of pride in my teaching and I really it is important to me that, that you learn something and that you learn it well and that it goes on to, to shape your life after you've left this unit. So I really do want you to have a great experience in my course. As part of that, I will try and facilitate a great educational experience, but you as the student need to take ownership of your own learning and make sure that, uh, that you proactively facilitate your learning as well. In terms of being proactive, I also would seek your feedback uh, at any time. So if there's something in the unit that's not working for you, uh, or a way that you think the unit could be improved for yourself and for the rest of the class, please let me know. I do want to know and I want to fix those things as soon as possible, not wait until the end of term and find out about something that, that wasn't going great. So if there's feedback that you would like to give or feedback or ways that you think the unit could be improved, please uh, drop me an email or tell me in person. I would appreciate it. That's it for this first short video. Uh, there will be many more of them that I'll be posting throughout the term and uh, I hope that you find them useful for your learning.